If you're looking for a tool that'll help you redesign the sounds of a movie trailer, movie scenes, or if you want to do your own film, short film, YouTube videos, I'm going to show you guys in this video. I will be using Audio Design Desk. As you see, I have it pulled up right here. And first things first, you can see it's compatible with all these different softwares. Even FL Studio is on here. So you can use it for pretty much anything. You can use it with your music, all that wonderful stuff. But for right now, we're going to focus on video. And as you see right here, Audio for Video Reimagined. It's a cool little thing. You guys could try it out. The Black Friday sale is going on right now. You save 80% on personal plans and 50% on professional plans. And the sale ends on the 30th of November of 2022. So don't watch this video two months from now and say the sale's not working. I told you guys when it ended specifically for Black Friday. So before I dive deep into this, I want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Audio Design Desk. I appreciate you guys over there. In this video, I will be going through and showing you guys some of my favorite features that I use when I'm making a trailer or redesigning a trailer, I should say, or a short film. So I'll be going through and resound designing the trailer for a movie called Inside, which is a new Willem Dafoe movie, which looks very interesting. It'll be coming out soon. So you guys are going to see that. And like I said, I'm just going to run through some of my favorite features to show you how quick and easy it is to get started with this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Audio Design Desk and then we're going to get started. All right. So as you guys know, when you watch movie trailers these days, you get a few scenes or something like that to get you interested in the trailer before the actual trailer starts. This trailer starts here and I'm going to go right here and I already muted this. That's usually the first thing I do when I go in because I don't want to hear anything that they have going on. So I'm going to go right here, which is when it really starts. And I think I'm going to put, I might not put nothing right there because that's just the logo showing. And I'm going to go find a transition to get to this part right here, right there when it switches. So I'm going to pull up my trigger pad and I'm going to go through and just add sounds to this. So right here, I'm going to go right here to the sounds. And right here, I want a hit. And then I also want a transition. So I'm going to hit T for my transition to come in and put an H. So I should have a hit right there. Let's see what that sounds like so far. Okay, I like that. It's something simple and right there, I'm going to go ahead. I think I want a drone to go at the same time too. I'll drop a drone in here, see what that does. take that one out I like this because it's building up more tension now in the official trailer they did have a helicopter right here uh, let's see if I can find a helicopter to add in here I wasn't going to but let's just see what we got in here let's see what we got I like that one, so I'm going to go ahead and hit shift enter, and then bam, it's right there at the bottom, so let's see what it sounds like. Came in a little bit too early. Go right here, drag this over, drag it to right there, see how it sounds. And of course, I don't want to go in the whole time. I'm going to leave it where they had it. Then I'm going to go and track this right to where it switches to this. It's right there. Bam. Now let's see what it sounds like. It ends a little abruptly. So let me see if I can fade it real quick. Mixing. I'm going to go to fade out. And then with these lights coming on, I see it's a sliding door, so it's automatic. So let me see if I can get a door slide. And then I have to find something else because the lights aren't going to click. But let me see. Door slide. Let's see what we get. I'm going to search that. I 
I'm gonna go back to the shower door. That might work. I'm gonna have to turn it down some. I'm gonna hit shift enter. Let's get it to drop in right there. And then I already know I'm gonna have to turn it down. So to turn it down, let's hear what it sounds like before I turn it down. That was cool. Actually, it, it goes on a little too long. So I had to stop it right at the right spot, right there. So to turn it down, I'm gonna hit shift and down on my arrow pad. And then it should be going down the gain. I can't see it because I'm zoomed in, so we we'll zoomed out. So let me go right here. And as you see, it says negative six. Hmm. Leave it at negative six. See what it sounds like. And one thing I do like, I like fading just so that way it takes out that abrupt ending sometimes. Like that, that was much smoother. And once it gets right there to the close, I'm gonna go ahead and hit D to drop a drone in there. Or not a drone, I want a hit. Let me drop a hit right there. Uh, that one starts too far. All right, so I'm gonna change this to something else. Well, let me take it out for a second and see what else I can come up with in this scene. Since the lights turned on, I feel like there should be some type of sound there. So let me just go ahead and search for lights and drop it in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find some lights turning on. I want the electric lights like turning on and I'm gonna hit option G to pull up the magic maker as they call it. And let's look up some lights and let's just see what we can find here. I wonder if the electric lights would still make a noise like that. Kind of, I kind of like that one because it sounds like I can hear that. So let's hit enter and hear what that sounds like as they turn on. And then since I did that, I'm going to add some electricity. I want that electric, like, you know, that buzz sound. So I'm going to go ahead and hit option G again to pull back up the magic maker. And let's see if we can find the electric buzz. I actually like this. This may not fit but I'm gonna turn it down just to see, you know, what it sounds like. I liked that. Now I wanna end it right here cause it sounds like it's powering up. And then once it switches scenes, we can go ahead and fade it out a little bit. And of course there's a shortcut to fade out, but I'm just showing you guys on there real quick. This door needs to be turned down a little bit more. I want a dramatic hit right here once he shows Willem Dafoe, just so that way, you know, something for a dramatic effect. I'm gonna hit another hit. And I wanna replace that, so let me go ahead and replace that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Shift and R, and let's see what we can replace it with. I had to make sure I clicked it. This menu pops up, I'm gonna go to booms, cause I'm gonna hear booms. That one actually fit perfect. That one fit, oops, I picked the wrong one. Let me hit it again, shift R, I want this one right here, cause it was quick. I accidentally dropped that in there. Let me take that out real quick. Go back. Probably barely heard the boom. Let me turn this down some. See, I hear the boom now. I'm turning it up a little bit just so it's more standing out more. Right here, I want a door creaking. So we're going to go ahead and pull back up the magic maker real quick. Again, that is option G. And I'm going to find wood door creak and see what happens.
I like this one. It's very slow, but let's just see what it sounds like. It's kind of, I think I started a little bit too early, so I'm gonna drag it over just a tad. Yeah, see, he opened the door too quick, so that one wouldn't work. So I'm gonna go back here, open up that again, and let's find a quick door. See, something simple like that might do the trick. Okay, close this out. And then as they do this, of course, add another hit right there. Mm, don't really think that one fit as much. Let me turn it down and see, though. I want something quick. I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift and R to replace. And let's see what we got here. I want another boom. I love booms, personally. We'll make that one work for the dramatic effect. So I'm just about to go through here, add some more stuff to it. With this main part of the trailer, I don't want to go through all of it right now. If you want to see an in-depth one, I have that. But for now, I just want to go through here and show you how useful the software is when it comes to editing these things. And again, you can do this with your own YouTube videos and all that wonderful stuff. Let's just run through it, see what we have so far. And I believe I'm just going to focus on this main section just for this part, just to show you guys so you can get the gist of it. One thing that I feel like was missing though, is like right here, right when this switches, I need the sound of a city. So I'm going to go to search, just find a city real quick, city sounds, let's hit that city. Let's see what we come up with. Want to hear some traffic, let's go um, ambience, let's see city park. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and hit shift and enter so it could drop in and let's just see what it does. I'm going to drag it in. And of course you see, you get to select where it ends. I want it to end right there. So let's go ahead and try this. Might have to turn it down a little bit. It starts a little early. I want it to start right here. Going to hit shift and down to turn it down a little bit and let's see what we get. And then right here with the paper, I'm going to see if I can find some paper, a nice paper sound type in paper unrolling. Let's just see what we come up with. Gonna use this one. Go ahead, shift enter. Bam, it's right there. Turn it down a little bit using shift and down on the arrow key. And let's see. Okay, it started a little bit early. So let me move this. And then too, if you guys want to add music to it, you can pull up the trigger pad and then go over here to this. And then you could literally add music. You could actually make a beat doing this. So for example, let's say I want to add percussion right here, add a beat right there. And I want a bass and a lead. Let's just see what it sound like. Probably sound crazy. <laughs> that changes the whole vibe of the trailer, honestly. All right, so you guys see how quick and easy I was able to put this section of the trailer together. Of course, you can go deeper. Like I plan on going through and adding like, you see this little thing right here, probably add a water droplet right there and then also breathing while he's running through and then doing the rest of the trailer. But for the sake of time, I'm just about to show you guys how you could just change the way these sounds by just replacing them. 
and once you replace them it gives a different vibe so i'm just going to hit this and then go to the replace menu just so you guys can see what i have selected there's nothing selected and i'm going to go ahead command a and then command r and then it says sorry when marker failed to replace using current settings don't want to loosen it up sure let's see what they came up with one marker didn't replace but it should be different so let's just go ahead and start it And I don't know if you realize it, the stuff got replaced by what was already there. So for example, I had paper right here. It automatically replaced it with somebody tearing open the letter. And that's cool. And then the drone got switched to that one, which I like. I like how they added the people clapping. I think that's pretty cool. So later on, when I go to go into more detail about the trailer, I'm going to go in and add footsteps and I'm going to put them on a custom trigger. So like for right now, I'll go to right here and go to new so this is empty then i'm going to go to load pull from footsteps and then you can keep going deeper into it and then right here this will be footsteps so whenever i want to go through i have is this the right amount yes it is so down here i have 3417 footstep sounds i'm going to show my custom triggers right here so this will be number one obviously because that's how it goes and I'm just going to tap one right here I'm going to mute everything else just so you can hear the footsteps as I go through and add it so it's like right here he's taking a step and then he's going to take another step so let's see how that sounds I just tapped one 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 over and over again and of course those don't fit the actual scene because it's putting them up there from here but you can go through and change and replace them change your rules so that way it goes to the sounds that you want and then now if you unmute everything that i muted let me just do this top part you will hear it So I was just pressing one as I went through and watched the trailer and it was placing them from my custom trigger, which was one, which was footsteps. And you can go through and keep changing them to whatever you want from any of these different categories and keep on going and going and going and going. So if I wanted to throw something else, like not footsteps, let's find something else. Let's just add vocals. And you can keep going through here. I'm going to human. And then I want to go to, hmm, what sound do I want? He is stressed. Do they have stress, shock, relief, pleasure, pain, nervousness? I'm going to go to nervousness. So everything I do for number two is going to be nervousness. So I want to mute all this up here again. So that way we can just focus on these sounds real quick. So right here, I'll probably put it right here. <laughs> so as you see, <laughs> if I turn this down, <laughs> it's uh, like he's stressing out as he's walking in there. And they have breaths and stuff too, of course. You can go through all of that. But let me unmute all this up here real quick. <laughs> but you get the point it's silly but you can go through and build all that and do it in real time which is really cool so you guys if you're interested in doing this stuff go ahead and check out audio design desk again it is on sale right now as you see on my screen currently you get to save 80 percent on the personal plans and then 50 percent on the professional plans this sale runs until november 30th if you're interested in checking it out go ahead and click that link in the description thank you to audio design desk for sponsoring this video and I am actually about to go sit down and finish this and go through in huge detail. And I'll probably end up putting that video out when I'm done with it. But this movie looks like it's going to be very interesting. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Go ahead and check this out.